Okay, Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. So, now let's proceed to the hypothesis for mechanism of enzyme action. Okay, so there are two hypotheses that you have to take note. Okay, the first one we call as log and key model. Second, uh, induced feed model. Okay, so now we look one by one. Okay, so first of all, what is log and key model? So, this model or this hypothesis suggests that the substrate fit accurately into the active site. Or it is exactly complementary to the active site of an enzyme molecule, like a key fit into a log. Okay, ataupun kita juga boleh katakan untuk log and key model ni, okay, kita boleh katakan active site is exactly complementary to the substrate. Okay, so the analogy here, key tu actually dia adalah substrate, log tu adalah enzyme. Maksudnya, yang ni yang kita katakan sebagai enzyme is highly specific for a particular substrate. Hanya substrate yang betul-betul fit ataupun kita kata sebagai accurately fit pada active site of enzyme sahaja, okay, boleh bind kepada active site of enzyme. Okay, for the example, if substrate is does not complementary or it uh, or it is does not uh, exactly fit, okay, towards the active site of enzyme. So, what happened to the substrate, it cannot bind to the active site of enzyme. Okay, so yang ni kita katakan sebagai log and key model. Okay, so this is the mechanism of enzyme action, okay, based on log and key model or log and key hypothesis. Okay, so firstly, if you look at the diagram here, so this is substrate, this is the enzyme with its active site. Okay, so when an enzyme comes into contact with the substrate molecule, so what happens, substrate will bind to the active site of enzyme. Okay, so what happens next, an enzyme substrate complex is formed. Okay, so the combination in between the substrate with the enzyme, okay, so it will form enzyme substrate complex. And then the enzyme will carry out its catalytic function. So what happens to the bond within the substrate, it will be weakened. Okay, and then... Okay, the activation energy of the reaction is lowered. Uh, so, this one actually we already discussed, okay, in activation energy. Okay, so what happen next, new bonds are formed. Okay, so lastly, product are produced, okay, and it is released from the enzyme. Okay, so this is the product, so this is enzyme. So, means that enzyme can be reused again. Okay, so remember the log and key model, so you have to take note. The substrate, okay, is accurately fit with the active site of the enzyme. Accurately fit, maksudnya kita akan nampak lah substrate ni dia boleh bind, okay, uh, pada active site of enzyme dengan tepat. Okay, but what is the difference with induced fit model? Okay, so for induced fit model, the hypothesis suggests that the active site of the enzyme is flexible. Uh, so the keywords here is active site of enzyme is flexible. Or the active site of enzyme is not exactly complementary to the substrate. Maksudnya tak semestinya active site of enzyme ni dia adalah complementary fit to the substrate. Ha, so yang ni kita maksudkan sebagai flexible. Ha, so kalau awak tengok based on the diagram. Kita boleh nampak the shape of the substrate here. Okay. Is not same or it, or it is not suitable with the active site of enzyme. But uh, it is not problem. Ha, so yang ni kita katakan sebagai the active site of enzyme is flat. Sibel. So, nanti kita akan tengok dari segi dia punya mechanism. In the presence of the substrate, the active site may change slightly. So, this is the keyword. Okay, with the presence of substrate. So, what happened to the active site of enzyme? It may change slightly in order to suit the substrate shape. Okay, so let's say if you look at the diagram here. Okay, so this is the substrate yang bentuk segi empat. And then this is the active site. So, kita boleh nampak dekat sini. Okay, the shape of the substrate here. It is not fit. Okay, it is not exactly complementary to the active site of enzyme. But what happened in the presence of the substrate here, actually it can induce, okay, slightly change in the active site of enzyme. So that's why substrate can fit with the active site of enzyme. So dia berbeza lah dengan log and key model tadi. Okay, so based on the mechanism of action for induced fit model, okay, so for the example here is enzyme. Okay, and then this is the substrate. So, kita boleh nampak dekat sini, okay. The substrate is not, or we can say here, the active site of enzyme is not complementary to the shape of the substrate. Uh, this one lah. Okay, so 
what happen next? Substrate will bind to the active site of the enzyme. Ha, so, kita boleh nampak first kali substrate tu dia akan bind dulu to the active site of enzyme. And then, it will form enzyme substrate complex. Okay, and then what happen? The binding will induce slightly change. Ha, so, this is the keywords. The binding induce slight change in the shape of the active site. So, it will allow substrate to fit to the active site of the enzyme precisely here. Ha, so, kita boleh nampak lah. Barulah substrate, okay, can bind to the active site or it, it will fit to the active site of the enzyme precisely. Okay, and then the active site become fully complementary or fully fit to the substrate. Okay, so the enzyme will carry out its catalytic function. So, the bond in the substrate will be weakened. So, the activation energy of the reaction is lowered. So, new bonds are formed. Ha, so, kalau berbeza dengan log and key model tadi, kita boleh nampak the active site of enzyme is precisely fit with the substrate. But for induced fit model, kita boleh nampak dekat sini active site of enzyme is not exactly complementary to the shape of the substrate. Ataupun active site of enzyme is flexible. Tapi bila sahaja substrate bind, okay, towards the active site of enzyme, Okay, and then it will form enzyme substrate complex. So, it will induce slight change in the shape of the active site. Ha, sebab tu nama dia adalah induced fit. Ha, bila dia bind, bila substrate bind to the active site of enzyme, baru dia akan induce slight change in the shape of the active site. So, that's why substrate will fit to the active site of the enzyme precisely. Ha, barulah kita boleh katakan active site become fully complementary or fully fit to the Substrate. Ha, so, means that awak mesti kena faham lah. Okay, concept of induced fit model. Okay, and then products are produced. Okay, so this is the product. And released from the enzyme. So, the active site of the enzyme will change back to its original conformation. Ha, so, active site of enzyme ni, dia akan change balik kepada dia punya original conformation. So, what you have to take note for both of this hypothesis or both of this model, log and key and also in this fit model, you have to know how to differentiate, okay? And also you have to know uh, how to explain, okay? Based on its mechanism of action, okay?